Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another screencast by your Earth Science teacher, Mr. Stano. And today we're going to talk about wind erosion. Wind erosion is going to occur primarily in dry climates. Um, we're not going to see that humidity or that water really keeping the sediments together. So in dry climates, it's a lot easier for them to get blown around or tops out to get moved. Much like with river systems, we see that particles are carried or sorted by size. It's going to be the same thing for wind. As wind velocity changes, its ability to transport sediments and move sediments is going to also change. There's a relationship between the velocity of the wind and the particle size it can carry. And you can see here on this bottom diagram, larger particles bounce along the bottom. Notice it's called saltation, or they get creeped, very slowly pushed along. Saltation, that bouncing, or suspension when they're in the air. Wind erosion is a, is a very big problem in agricultural reasons because we can see these finer sediments that carry the nutrients for the soil are going to get blown around. And we don't want that. We want to keep that sediment in an area. We don't want it to blow around. It takes years for topsoil to accumulate. Windblown sediments, the surface is going to be pitted or what's called frosted. So little small sediments, as they come in, they're going to hit the surface and they're going to basically pluck out little pieces known as pitting and we can actually see it here in this picture it's a little bit hard to see but it is there but also notice something else as the wind comes in and it pits it's going to break up one side of the rock differently than the other and here it is again notice with the wind direction material comes in bounces off and it's going to keep wearing away on this side eventually forming this this is known as a vent effect and we can tell the direction of winds from this Looking at it again, wind comes from this way, beats up on this side, beats up, beats up, and there's our vent effect. And we can actually see it over here. This is another vent effect, and it looks like it's probably coming from this region right here, this nice sloped off edge. Desert sandstorm, same thing, and the wind kicks up. It's going to move that sediment, um, pitting out the surfaces of any larger material. Okay, moving rocks in Death Valley, slowly creeped along. Okay, some wind erosion. As wind came around these corners, basically moved through, and very fine particles are gonna help break it down over time. Notice the dry climate that we see this in. Once again, right here, a little bit more resistant. Notice once again here, a little bit more resistant material, so it kind of keeps this feature here while breaking down everything else around it. Okay, you have some more wind erosion in this one. So right here, some dunes that have changed from day to day. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to move on to gravity now. And the last age of erosion we're going to be talking about is gravity. Um, particles or sediment that has fallen due to gravity or through landslides or mass movement um, are going to have sharp angular edges. Basically, as they fall, they crack and break open, leaving those exposed surfaces, but they're going to be jagged or sharp edged. And here we can see this feature right here. Basically, large one, pretty sharp edges right here, jagged. And the same with all these other smaller ones that are near it. Landslides, also known as mass movement. We have a lot of material moving at once are going to change landscapes. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed that. Take care. Goodbye.